Hey guys, it's me, Keisha B. Hope all is healthy and well with you at this time, okay? You see the bags, you know where they from. And if you don't, I went to Trader Joe's. Trader. Ain't that what the kids do? Is that how you do it? Anyway, I went to Trader Joe's. I picked up some stuff. Let's do a little haul, okay? Show y'all what I got. I love Trader Joe's, I really do. Trader Joe's is like, the TJ Maxx of Whole Foods, right? It's not Ross and it's not Dee Dee's, but it's like TJ Maxx Marshalls. You get what I'm saying. Anyway, so I got some yogurt. This is Greek. I put this in my protein smoothies because it has 14 grams of protein, the full container. So I only use half. I try to measure it out, right? That way, of course, half of that will be seven grams of protein. I got some eggs. My son be like, mommy, can you scramble chicken eggs? When you say it like that, it makes me not want to do it. But I got some eggs, brown eggs. Somebody told me there's no difference from brown and white eggs. It's like maybe the color of the chicken. Don't give me the one. Got me some shrimp. This is the only kind of raw shrimp, frozen shrimp that I buy um, from Trader Joe's because it has a very good flavor. It's the raw Argentinian red shrimp. So wild caught. Hope you guys can see that. I got me some more Greek yogurt. This is coconut greek yogurt coconut cream greek yogurt i thought this was vegan and then i got to the car and i'm like what are you talking about milk from cows not that i'm against you know that right i do dairy you know every now and again this is marketed like it's vegan am i lying because it says greek non-fat yogurt coconut cream so Anyway, I'm still gonna use it because I bought it. Got me some edamame. I love these. These are a great snack. Pretty high in protein. A half a cup serving is eight grams. As you can tell, I'm trying to increase my protein. I need to get this weight off my body. <laughs> it's not safe. I'm currently on a no rice, no pasta, no bread type situation. And I had a recipe in mind earlier today that involved rice cauliflower. So when I saw this, I was like, this is perfect for tacos. You want to swap out the protein? You can do this with some guacamole or avocado crema. Fresh pico de gallo, really good. So I'm definitely going to be doing that. I love to make tzatziki. So this is a Persian cucumber. And my sons also love this in their lunch. So I slice these up and put them in their lunch. And I also add it to the salads that we eat. Got some chicken legs. Let me give you a quick recipe. Wash your chicken, season it a little bit. Get you one of those oven bags. Dust the bag with a little bit of flour. Not a lot. Put the legs in there. Put you a can of cream of mushroom or cream of chicken soup in there. Plus some bell peppers and onions. Tie it up and put it in the oven and bake it. One stop shop. Real good. Over rice. I got some great tomatoes. My sons love to snack on these. Got me some avocado oil spray. I usually buy this. It's a little bit cheaper at Walmart Market because there is a blend that I buy. It's avocado and extra virgin olive oil spray. Got my mussels. Love mussels. High in protein. I like to eat these with scrambled eggs. Got me some black beans so I can make me some black bean burgers or black bean tacos. I can actually mix that in with the cauliflower rice and make a whole little taco situation. Very good for me. Also got some taco mix for the tacos that I'm gonna be making. I usually make my own taco mix, but I wanted to try this out. The ingredients, they're readable. And when I say readable, that means you know what's in it. So the regular stuff, chili powder, onion powder, cayenne pepper, brown sugar. So I think this is gonna be really good. I got some coconut milk. Also got some coconut cream, two different things. Got some mushrooms, eggs, mushrooms, peppers in the morning, always a go. Potatoes and mushrooms, always a go. Mushroom tacos for me, always a go. Mushrooms and salad, can't go wrong with the fungus. I got some wild salmon, canned salmon, chickpeas. My son loves chickpea tuna. Mommy, can you make some chickpea tuna? Yes, anything for you, my love. And I put this in their lunch also as like a little quick snack. I use these for a pre-workout before I do lifting. This is a great substitute for those manufactured pre-workouts. I was looking into maybe doing that, but it's just got too many chemicals for me and I'm cool. I do applesauce, half a banana, maybe sometimes honey and salt together. And that gives me a really good boost of what I need to get through my training days. So applesauce. This has been the talk of the town. I don't know if anybody's been listening or seeing, but peri-peri sauce. 
I don't know what this tastes like, but when I saw fermented and dry chilies, I instantly was turned on. I said, yeah, we doing that. Definitely gonna be doing some peri-peri shrimp tacos, peri-peri shrimp over cauliflower mash. I'm a sauce girl. Dipping, marinating, all that type of stuff. If this is spicy, the way I heard it's spicy, this will be a regular in the kitchen. So that is it for my Trader Joe's haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you guys get out to Trader Joe's if you have one in your city and pick up some really good food items for your kitchen and for when you decide to cook. Join me next time on my channel. I'm gonna be saying that real soon, you guys, on my channel. <laughs> Stay tuned. Um, so yeah, take care of yourself and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.